life was tricky before we had, we had an ROV, so we always had to amass a group of divers or we had to take pot luck with what was under the surface. And so, you know, big boats, cranes, divers, the whole nine yards, because we didn't know what we were going to find. Yeah. Um, once we got the ROV involved, then we could see what was there, come back, plan what we needed to do, if we needed to do something, and then go out with the right kit. Surprised at how robust it was. It's you know it's really nicely made. Um, I, I love all the, sort of the aluminium side of it. You know it's all knurled and it's it's, it's really well made um, and it performs really well. So our environment, the environment we've got out in the bay here, it's it's not benign. There's strong tides um, and because of that, a lot of other ROVs you can spec on they just can't um, propel themselves quick enough to, against the tide. So, and for us, that's really, really important because we have to hold ourselves where we, where we need to be to actually inspect something. And if we can't stem the tide with, with the power of the, um, of the motors, then we're, we're really struggling with that. 